In MATLAB, indexing is the way to select a subset of elements from a matrix. There are three ways to index an element. You can use subscript indexing, linear indexing, or logical indexing. We will look at the first two methods today and leave logical indexing for a bit later in the course. First off, let's have a look at subscript indexing. In subscript indexing, elements in the matrix are referred to by their row and column. For example, the element with the value of 55 is in row 3, column 2. To index this element, we start with the name of the variable containing the matrix. In this example, this is the variable A, open parentheses. Then for subscript indexing, the inputs are row, comma, column, then close parentheses. This is the basic syntax for subscript indexing. So going back to our example, we would use row 3, column 2, or A, 3, comma 2 to get the element. Let's switch over to MATLAB and see how this works. Let's start by declaring the matrix A. The first row has values of 10, 30, and 21. Second row, 5, 25, 3. Third row, 9, 55, and 3. Now let's select the element with the value of 55. So we can type in A, open parentheses, 3, comma, 2, close parentheses, and we see that MATLAB returns the value of 55. Note that since we did not assign the output of the indexing operation to a variable, MATLAB has stored it in the variable ANS. Okay, let's take a look at linear indexing. In subscript indexing, we treated the matrix as a rectangular array of numbers. However, MATLAB actually stores the numbers as a consecutive sequence of memory. The order of the numbers are 10, 5, 9, then 30, 25, 55, then 21, 3, and 2. So the numbers are stored according to this zigzag pattern across the matrix basically stacking the columns on top of each other. Linear indexing uses this order to refer to the matrix elements. So going back to our original example, let's say we want to index the element with the value of 55. To get the linear index, we would count the number of elements as they are stored in memory. So in this case, we can see it is the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 element. The syntax for linear indexing is very similar to the subscript indexing, but we use the position of the element in memory instead of the row and column. So for our example, the value of the index would be 6. So since we want to index the 6 element, the command would be a, open parentheses, 6, close parentheses. Let's switch back over to MATLAB and quickly see how this works. We've already declared the matrix A earlier, so let's continue to use it. The linear index that we want is a, 6 which gives us the value of 55. 